Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is pointer event. A pointer event is an event structure. It's actually an input event structure that holds data about the event that just occurred. And it has some things in it. If we were to, for example, go to variables, no, sorry, utilities, pointer event, we see some nodes we can pull some data out of. Now, this is not just an event for a pointer if you think about it in terms of a mouse pointer. If we actually look at the code itself for the pointer event, it describes a mouse or a touch action. And it's passed to event handlers dealing with pointer-based input. It's important to note that it's telling you it deals with mouth, mouse or touch and it deals with pointer-based input. By default, these are our default values. And this is why I'm bringing this up. So for example, it's gonna have nothing for this last screen space position, no button was used, no index, etc., etc. But underneath it, we have actual individual constructors depending on the input type. So we have one for mouse, one for touch, and one for gesture. It uses the same basics, but it also passes in some default values, which may give you different results than you're expecting. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If we pull up this and we look here, our mouse event is a pointer event structure. If we go into our touch event, well, we have a touch event, but it's also a pointer event structure. And if I was to override and do, for example, a gesture, well, it outputs a gesture event, but it's still a pointer event structure. It's still going to have the same basic information. In this case, these values here, screen space, position, the buttons, the indexes. But our default values for some of these will actually be a default value. Sorry, not default. The, con the values that you get back will be default values rather than what you might be expecting. So, for example, a gesture event gives you back a wheel or gesture delta value. If you're using a touch event or a mouse event, for example, your wheel or gesture deltas are actually going to be fixed to zeros. You're not going to actually get back what you're expecting. If, for example, we're looking at something like a touch event effecting buttons, if it's a mouse, we're going to get back the buttons that were pressed. If it is a touch event, it's always going to return back the left mouse button. Every touch event, the button that triggers it is going to be considered a left mouse button. And if we look in here, we'll find something similar. So that is something to keep in mind. Even though these are all pointer events, our values are different based on if it's a raw mouse event, a touch event, or a gesture event. Now in terms of actually using them, they do all have values we can pull out. Like I said, we have the utilities pointer events. We have different things we can get back. All of these are covered in different videos on what they are in terms of what you get and what we can use them for. But I just wanted to do this video to point out that if something's calling for a pointer event, even though you see gesture event, or in the case of touch event or mouse event, it's still considered a pointer event it's just different types of a pointer event. So that's why if you mouse over, you'll notice this says it is a pointer event structure. So that's important to know. Now usually the pointer events are used inside of our UMG for things such as overriding, mouse movement, dragging and dropping, touch, touching and things like that. However, these events are used internally in like Slate to determine if you're doing something in our user interface. And if you're using C++, you can override them and use them to your advantage. So that's it. That's going to wrap up our pointer event video. Remember, it's just a structure that holds data. And it could also be a mouse event, a touch event, a gesture event, or a straight pointer event. These are just slight variations that have different default values.